Shout out to the WTC game. We the chosen ones, baby. Your current situation is not your final destination. Plan your entry upon exit because God is preparing you for your greater. I need everybody to please stay tuned to the very end of this video, baby. Let me tell you something. Your current situation, whatever you're going through right now, whatever trial, whatever tribulation is standing in your way right now, let me let you know something. That is not where God wants you to be. God don't want you to be in a current situation forever. Don't you know that trouble don't last always? I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say trouble don't last always. We have been may endure for a night, but I promise you joy will come in the morning. What I'm trying to say is this. A lot of people commit suicides because they are in a current situation. A lot of people jumping over the Golden State Bridge. A lot of people taking the AK-47 and blowing their own brains out. A lot of people are throwing in the towel because of their current situation. You'll be surprised. Some people can't really handle rejection like that. Certain people can't handle betrayal. Certain people cannot handle being let down. And it's okay because we're all human. But I'm here to let you know right now. You can avoid committing suicide right now by telling the devil he a liar and the truth ain't in you. You coming out of this situation in the name of Jesus. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, I'm coming out with my hands up. Come on now. Don't be afraid to put it in the comments below and say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out of my situation with my hands up. See, the devil will play tricks with your mind. Amen. The devil will play tricks with your spirit. Because you in this current situation, so you're stressed out, you're frustrated, you're depressed. You have an anxiety. You don't know which way to turn. You don't know what to do. That's how the devil gets you. But you have to understand that is not your final destination. You have to understand that God got a plan and God got a vision for your life, chosen ones. And if you're going to let a current situation take you off of your focus, then guess what? Maybe you weren't meant to be the chosen one. Because the chosen ones that I know personally and me myself as a chosen one, I never gave up. I never gave in. No matter what I was going through, I kept pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling in the name of Jesus. And you got to do the same exact thing or you're going to be stuck in the same predicament for the rest of your life. We have to stop letting trials and tribulation overtake us. You have to understand, to the day you die, to the day you lay in your grave, you're going to have to go through a trial or a tribulation in order to get to them pearly white gates. There is no easy way out. There is no easy way to heaven. I don't know why people keep thinking they're going to get to heaven just getting there easily. You think heaven going to be handed to you on a silver platter? It's already hard enough out here in this world, and you think getting to heaven is going to be easy? You got another thing coming, my brother, my sisters. God is, he's preparing you for your greater. That's why you in that current situation. It's like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. The caterpillar ain't going to just start off flying. You're not going to just start off flying. You ain't going to just start off out here getting to this bag. And you ain't going to just start off being successful overnight just like that. You got to go through some things. You got to go through some people turning their back on you. You got to go through some people really talking about you. The same one that's smiling your face and you thought they was your friends. You got to go through them turning their back on you. And if Jesus went through it, what makes it any difference with you? You got to go through it. If the son of God went through it, you got to go through it. 
I'm not going to sit up here and lie to y'all, chosen ones. I went through the fire, the storm, and the rain, but I didn't let it defeat me. I'm still going through the fire, storm, and the rain, but I'm not going to let it defeat me. Because I know God has prepared me for my greater. I'm not going to let nobody stop me. You have to understand, if you give up on yourself, if you commit suicide, let me tell you what's going to happen. You're not getting into them pearly white gates. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you because the Bible says it's not given to the swift nor to the strong. But it's going to be given to the one who endures to the end or you're going to stay in the race. Are you going to get on your bending knees every single day and give God what he deserves and all he deserves is the praise? Salvation is free. Salvation is free. And it's so sad to see that a lot of people don't even want salvation and it's free, but you're willing to pay for wrong. And guess what? That's going to cost you. Oh, that's deep. I said salvation is free, but what don't get me is people will pay for wrong. I'd rather have salvation. Because when you're paying for wrong, guess what? You're going to do wrong. And when you do wrong, guess what? You ain't, you, God ain't going to grant you your salvation because you're not doing right by him. Your current situation is not your final destination. Stop letting your trials and tribulations get to, get to your mind and get to your spirit thinking you ain't going to make it, thinking you ain't going to be nothing in life. Stop letting that because let me tell you something, trouble don't last always. If trouble lasts forever, none of us will make it out here, man. Think about it. Even the greatest of the greatest who ever lived on this planet Earth, guess what? They went through some trials and tribulations, man. You best to believe it. So if anybody tell you that, that you know, they know somebody, they don't really go through trials and tribulations, everything is perfect for, for them, everything is peaches and cream, they lying to you. Ain't nobody perfect. We all got a story. That's why I say be kind to people. You know, even people you just meet, just be nice to them because you, don't, you never know what they're going through. They could be thinking about committing suicide right there, but your words of encouragement, your love, your genuinely can change their mind within an instant. So I'm here to tell you today, chosen ones, do not commit suicide because it's not worth it in the end. God has a plan for you. God got a vision for your life. Sometimes God just want to, he just want to see if you're really strong. God want to see if you're going to make it out of this situation. He said if you take one step, he's going to take the next step. God was just getting ready to open that door for you, but you gave up. Do you know how many times God was going to bless people, but they gave up? They was doing so good. Your breakthrough is coming close. Let me tell you something about your breakthrough. When you, when you feel like your breakthrough is coming close, you feel like God about to really perform a miracle in your life. You feel like God about to really just start breaking every generation of curse. God about to start just pouring out blessings with only your name on it. Don't stop. People do good, and then they get tired of doing good. You know what I'm saying? Then they expecting God to bless them, right? You can't tell God when to bless you. You can't question God on when he going to bless you. It don't make any sense. Because when he bless you, guess what? It's going to be least expecting. You're not going to know he blessing you until it's done. God ain't going to bless no mess. Sometimes God will put you in a current situation because you was out here doing wrong. You was out here in a world full of mess. And that's why you're in that current situation. Let's keep it real. Half of the time we are in this current uh, situation or we in this current trial and tribulation is because of the simple fact we uh, cause these problems on our own. 
And then we want to look for an easy way out. Like God about to just give us that easy way out when we didn't gave him a hard time. And all he told us to seek him first and his righteousness and all these things going to be added unto us. We went against the grain instead of going with the grain. And you wonder why you're going through what you're going through because you got to let some things go. You got to let some things go so God can use you. You got to ask God to turn you from your wicked ways so he can use you. T turn that stony heart into flesh so he can use you. Do you know what your final destination is going to be if you see God? If you really live right on a daily basis, if you stay in that prayer closet, do you know what your final death is going to be? What it's going to feel like? You know when you have made it to that promised land. You know when God has really blessed your life. You know when you're going to get to that final destination. Stop thinking that your trials and tribulations, oh, this is it, I can't do it anymore. Oh, I'm tired. The Bible says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's going to really be your final destination when you see God. When he say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That's going through your trials and tribulations is not your final destination. Man, y'all got to pay attention to what I'm saying. Just because you're going through it right now, don't mean that you're always going to go through it. Who cares who turn their back on you? Who give a damn? Who cares who talking about you? I can care less now. Because ain't nobody paying my bills. Ain't nobody patting me on my back saying, hey, brother Jordan, keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Ain't nobody give a damn about me but the WTC family. And that's just straight facts. I'm not going to let no trial and tribulation take me off of my grind for the Lord or take me off my focus for God. I'm not going to let it. Because God's plans for me is plans to prosper. His plans is to give me an expected end. And I'm not going to let nobody and nothing stop that. Stop my, 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 my plans, my purpose, my vision, my goals. I'm not going to let nobody stop that. That's why I keep telling y'all chosen ones, please join the WTC Mentor Program and I promise you I'm going to get you to the next level. Any prayer requests, any testimony, if you need somebody to vent to, email your boy. My email will be in the description below. Three people just joined last night. If you'd like to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my PayPal, my Cash App, it will be in the description below. And get off your bed of depression. Get out of your bed of anxiety. Get out of your bed of, of laziness. And get out here and get on your grind for God. Because the only things you do for Christ will last. Nothing else matters. I done did everything in this world. That shit don't even mean nothing. All it is is memories. I sure can't take it with me. You can make it. With God, you can get through this. Don't be afraid to put that in the comments below. And say, with God, I can get through this. God got your back. He'll never leave you, nor he will forsake you. I know it's hard. I know this shit hurts. But we can't go out like that, chosen ones. I'm not about to go out like that. It's already hard enough. I'm not going to let no trial. I don't give a damn what I go through. I'm going to try my best to make it. Because I know my expected end. I know my final destination. And that's going to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't you ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, 
you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation and if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker. In the whole wild world and your boy. Because we the chosen ones. Be blessed.